We never do it easy, do we? The Villa way. The last time we won in the FA Cup, I was 15 years old. <laughs> Mad. Well, it seems to have been a pretty quiet week at Aston Villa. It is a lie. <laughs> Yes, if you've been living under a rock this week, Aston Villa have trademarked this badge on the government website, which means that is probably going to be the new Villa badge going forward. Yeah, make of that what you will. Anyway, FA Cup weekend. Aston Villa have won the FA Cup seven times, but for some Villa fans, it's the only trophy they haven't seen us lift. And we haven't had a great run in the competition in recent years, and I think that's a massive understatement. Tottenham, loss. Peterborough, loss. Swansea, loss. Fulham, loss. Liverpool, loss. Man United, loss. Stevenage, loss. Stupid. We haven't won an FA Cup game at all since 2015 against Wickham. And that sounds horrendous, doesn't it? Which it is. However, we haven't played Middlesbrough in the FA Cup since 1957. Yes, the year we last won the FA Cup. But how seriously should Aston Villa take the FA Cup? We'll speak about it a bit more with the lads later on, but I've got my views on it. From now, win four games and you're at Wembley. Win six games and you win the FA Cup. We haven't got Europe to think about until March and we've got the winter break in a couple of weeks. Until the FA Cup starts to take up your midweeks and we've got Europe to juggle with as well. I say you go all in and try and win every single game because if you go in half assed teams like Middlesbrough will roll you over. How seriously should Aston Villa take the cup? Because I've seen a bit of a range of sort of opinions this week. What do you reckon? I don't think it's about taking it seriously for me. I think it's just that you try and win every game you're in. I think it's if you do win games, it you know it carries on momentum. Because if you do lo if you lose a game today, like it does kind of stop that sort of momentum. So yeah. and I think as I said to you, I don't think we've got the squad at the moment to go no really, go really weak anyway. Mm. So I've always said FA Cup for me is huge. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Say those special words, the magic of the cup. The magic of the cup, it's our year. I say, I say, I say it, I've been saying it for so long, it's our year, but no, nah, do you know what, I don't know. Like, a lot of, we, we, we have got other priorities I know this year in terms of Conference League, in terms of Premier League where we are, but you'd still love a cup run, wouldn't you? If you put a gun to my head, I'd probably take top four, but I don't think at the moment, especially, it's that choice. I think Europe's in March, like at the moment. Mm. We've got a free weekend this weekend, no Premier League action for another week, winter break in a couple of weeks. I don't think it's a, it's a question. No, it's not, it's not. And like I say, we haven't got the squad to do it anyway. We haven't got the squad to change 11 players yeah. anyway. And I don't think Unai Emery would do that, even if even if he could do, to be honest with you. So, and as you say, it's looking a long time into the future. We're talking about Champions League football, but we don't know whether we we'll get we don't know whether we'll get Champions League football until May. We're in the first weekend of January. Yeah. I think we need to go all out and try and, and try and get the win. Just had a look, and it's saying three hours twelve to get to the pub that we're going to, just outside of Middlesbrough. Longest away trip of the season. I always love going to Middlesbrough. Um, obviously went there plenty in the Championship got some very decent memories. Three and a half hours later, we are here. Some mission, that was. Got to win today, and we Got surely. I see, I think I threw a stat up on the coach up here. Oh, right. We'll be the first side in the top two divisions to lose nine third cup rounds in yeah. a row. Crazy. We haven't won a game in the FA Cup since 2016. How awful know. is that? How old were you then? What, 15? I don't know. Happy place Terrible. of beer, though. Happy place yeah, of yeah, beer. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen us lose Con a beer. Concede a goal, even? No. Been three times, 1-0, 1-0, 3-0. Right, Archie, first away game for you, isn't it, yeah. son? Score prediction, what do you reckon? Uh, I woke up this morning like, early, I was thinking 3-1 win, but Ooh. now, like, realistically, I've looked into it a bit more, I'm feeling like a 2-1 like a now. Oh, we're going to get over the line, though? Yeah, about it, but, like, if we do concede, it would be, like, a mistake from someone like that. Yeah, Lincoln. yeah, give us an up the villa, son. Up the villa, lads, come on. <laughs> Good. I'll go 2-1 us. Yeah, we're going to win think. good. We're going to win the cup. Given in my entire lifetime, we haven't. I can't <laughs> see it happening, to be fair. Don't you know this Sorry. Here we go. Welcome to the rainy riverside. Right then, Harrison. What's your score prediction today, mate? 2-1 winner. 2-1, we're going to win. Give us a big up the villa, mate. Up the villa. I love coming to the Riverside, like we said earlier, plenty of good memories. Team strong, you know, I didn't expect the likes of McGinn to start, Duran gets a shot as well, Watkins on the bench, 2-0 today. The FA Cup, by the way, just up there, BBC coverage, live on BBC One, buzzing for this today, I'm going to go 2-0, McGinn's going to score, and Duran. Normally sat around there, we've got all of this today, about 5,000 Villa, unbelievable support. Zach, what's the score prediction? 2-1 Villa. 2-1 Villa, Adrian, what are saying? 3-1 Villa. Oh, we're going to win today, boys. Yeah. Big up the Villa. Oh, so we were just discussing what your favourite 
moment at the riverside is wheeling yet yeah, what are we going for wheeling it is down there yeah. absolute half volley sweet as you like darren randolph harming it into his net <laughs> it was almost meant to be for absolute him. scenes here the away end with mental what a day I think we'll do all right tonight. I think we'll win 3-1. We'll, we'll go through to the next round. We'll concede the goal, as we always do. Probably. But I think we'll win 3-1. First FA Cup winning eight, nine years. It's going to happen. I hope so. I hope so. Like, it's about time. We don't want to be stuck with this record, so Villa win. Lovely. any need to get your tin foil FA Cup yet just mate I think we've controlled the game Borough have had a couple of chances to be fair so have Villa it's just a little bit slow isn't it not really creating too much clear cut stuff it's just it's slow isn't it it's slow yeah we, we haven't done enough going forward as simple as that really but yeah a little bit of a nothing half isn't it really yeah. like nothing clear cut from either team really so. I think Leon, Leon Bailey's had a lot of the ball on the right hand side Duran there's been a lot of talk about him today is he going he's hardly touched the ball has he John Duran he's had one sharp pass from that quiet. Not been in the game, not even getting on, on, on the ball holding it up or yeah. anything. It's just been really, really quiet. It's just been a, not a great game, especially for the neutral watching on BBC tonight. Yeah. Not, not, <laughs> Prime time on a Saturday not, night. Not been great at all, has it? Nah, but, uh, shooting down this way second half in front of our fans, yeah, obviously. We, we should get the win. I mean, we should get the win. I mean, we've got the quality to do so. I mean, it's a strong team tonight, yeah, so we've yeah. got, got the quality to do so. So you've got to hope we can in the second half. But yeah, first half, not brilliant. Nah, sticking with 2 now, it's going to happen. Save that was by the way. McGinn on the edge. Good save. Deliver Leon. Come on, son. Yeah. Oh, Moreno. Oh, my words. Come on now. A couple of really big chances there. Connor with a free header. It's the woodwork. Moreno at the back stick as well. Really big chances there.
Might be a replay of this. Diaby's just had the chance of the game with a swing and a miss. Such a good chance as well. This is really poor again. About 10 minutes left. Just so slow on the ball. for Athens and Wembley. <laughs> Twice. One win. Twice. One win in the FA Cup. And we're already planning Wembley. Oh, we never do it easy, do we? The Villa way. The last time we won in the FA Cup, I was 15 years old. <laughs> Mad. Blimey. That 
that was a long day. I think we got on the coach about 15 hours ago. So yeah, a long, long day, but very much worth it in the end. A like on this video would be massively appreciated for that, by the way. But yeah, I thought we controlled the game today. I don't think we were ever too much in danger. I think Middlesbrough had a couple of half chances, but nothing too serious. Those chances were few and far between. I think Villa had quite a few. I know Konza at the post, and McGinn had a really decent shot that was saved really well by the keeper. And the goal eventually comes, obviously, from Matty Cash, who looked like he was like pulling his hamstring or like holding his leg towards the end of the game and he gets that ball on the edge and yes it takes a massive deflection but do we care no because if that was a nil nil and it went to a replay it wouldn't be the most fun of evenings and again it's another game that we wouldn't have wanted thought the away end was very very good today i mean a lot of the game was pretty slow and pretty dull so obviously it wasn't going to be balancing the whole time i think when it was it was very good obviously taking about 4,300 villa fans up there unbelievable support so obviously the match being on tv as well so yeah for the first time in eight years we're going to be in the uh, fourth round so that'll be interesting there's some uh, decent trips in there hopefully we don't get a plymouth or a newcastle we have to do a really long trek in the fa cup but if we do have to do that it is what it is so yeah all eyes on monday night's draw should be a good one i'm just so glad to be in the hat so thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much to everyone who came up to me today lovely comments people being really really nice and having a chat so that was really nice and so thank you everyone for that without further ado i'm going to start cracking on with this edit it's going to be a late night but it's all worth it please do leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next week at goodison up the villa Bye.